The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. It's time for a doctor's checkup. Last season, we told the inspiring story of 23-year-old Jacob, who's on the autism spectrum and had overcome some extraordinary challenges. Growing up, Jacob was nice and quiet. I sat him somewhere, he played by himself, and then everybody was saying, you know, I think he's a little too quiet. We found out that Jacob had autism at the age of five years old. Living with autism means that there's gonna be constant challenges. We love our routine, and if you try to give us something different, we're gonna fight. I think I started really getting worried about Jacob when he was in high school. His weight just kept getting more and more. Jacob got to nearly 400 pounds by the time he was 18 years old. I decided I'm cutting cold turkey on fast food. Then I started to weigh myself off soda. I started going to the gym. I was hiking, I was doing Taekwondo. I am so proud of what the way Jacob has achieved his goals. Jacob is an inspiration. Come on out, bud. How much total weight have you lost? I have lost 170 pounds. I have experienced some loose skin. I have loose skin on my arms, my chest, my stomach, my back, and I have some loose skin on my thighs. We would love to give to you some free surgery. What do you think, Jacob? I'm, I'm really excited. Jacob had the skin removal surgery with plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Nicoli, and our cameras were there. Today, we're all excited. We were so inspired by Jacob's story, so we passed it on to the Magic Mirror Foundation. They accepted it. Let's do it. We just made the incision from hip to hip, and now we're just freeing it all up to make the abdominal flap. And so everything from here down is going bye-bye. So now we're going to start sewing the muscle. We have to sew all that muscle back together. All right, it's time to cut off the skin. This one side. And now we're cutting the other side out. Now we're going to just sew them back together. The next thing that we do is to turn him on his side so we can do the areas of the back at the same time that we do his arms. We've corrected the loose skin in his arm and also the loose skin along the side of his back. A significant amount of skin was removed today. These came from the abdominal plasty, the tummy, and these came from the arms. Okay, so we're in the final stage. Looking good. All right, we're all completed the surgery. He looks fabulous, and I can't wait to see him on stage. Jacob is here with us today. Jacob, come on out and join us. Whoa. Hello, Jacob. Looking good. Hello again, my friend. How are you, my friend? Fantastic. Please join us. We got a happy patient here. Very happy. How are you feeling? I am feeling fantastic. It's so great to have all the skin you move. You look so great. Dr. Michael Nicoli is with us, and obviously as his plastic surgeon, you must feel a great joy seeing him up here. How much skin did you remove? It's about six foot worth, prof, a little over four, uh, four pounds. And don't forget, that's all skin. So if it had fat or muscle attached to it, it'd be heavier, but that was all skin. So that's wow. quite a bit of weight. But don't forget, 170 pounds, that's, that's the weight of most of the, uh, the people in this audience. So. Uh, thanks to his mother and him, and he did it all on his own. He didn't have bypass, he didn't have anything. He exercised and exercised and died. And his attitude, just look at his attitude. Oh yeah. Great attitude. Right on. Speaking of Jacob's mom, Sharon, what is it I like seeing? I have to seeing... say, it's not 170 pounds, it's 180. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, mom. Nice, <laughs> mom. Hey, Every pounds. little bit helps. Yes. What are you Have feeling helps. right now looking up on the stage it's at Jacob? It's amazing, from being from when he was young and heavy to now it's amazing to be in that track to watch him congratulations we are so proud of thank you, you. Yeah. thank you keep up all the great work will do dr nicole thank you so very much <laughs>